hi, welcome along everyone, how are you? Um, today is a very beautiful day here in New Zealand and I'm heading out spearfishing at the lovely Warrington Beach. Um, now I hope you'll join me, there's plenty to see in the water and hopefully I'll spear a fish as well. So as I jumped in the water today, a seal came right up behind me and started attacking me. Well I thought it was attacking me, but actually it was just being friendly. They uh, seem to open their mouths and sort of lunge at you, but it's only them just being friendly and plain. Um, maybe they open their mouths because they're looking for fish. Often spear fishermen will have fish that they uh, take around with them in their catch bag or on a, on a string. And so perhaps it was doing that as a way of asking for fish. But in any case, it wasn't attacking, it was actually just being friendly. And you can get right up close to it. And you can almost pat it, but it was just a wee bit nervous about me patting it. Um, just as an aside, I didn't actually have the spear gun loaded at this time. I just jumped in the water. Um, the spear that you can see there, it, it's actually sticking out the front of the gun. It's not actually cocked, ready to fire, so it, it wasn't in any danger. It's not uncommon to see seals around this area. Um, how often... However, they don't often come right up to you and play with you like this. Um, usually when they're on the land, they're a bit grumpy and they want to be left alone. But you can see once they get into the water, their personality really changes and they're very, very playful. So here we are, we're off spearfishing now. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of this footage, you can see me just working my way around trying to find a few fish. There are a few fish here that I wouldn't bother eating, um, like this one. This is a banded wrasse. Uh, this is me just loading the gun here, so I've got, to, I've got to pull the spear back inside the gun to cock it. It's now ready to fire. So there's quite a few of those wrasse and spotties around. There's another one there, banded wrasse, or I call them tigerfish, because of the uh, yellow stripes. They're not actually good eating. Uh, there's some sea tulips and pawa, another banded wrasse. I'm looking for butterfish, moki, trumpeter, blue cod, monkfish, those sorts of things. There's a little butterfish there, but it's too small to spear. Um, it's a brown colour, and the white stripes along the side show that it's just a juvenile, too small. So I spent quite a lot of the time sort of uh, hunting around, trying to find the right kind of fish to spear. Um, there's a lot of sort of moving around that I did to um, sort of find a spot where the good fish might be. Um, as it turns out, a friend of mine was telling me that it's not a good idea to keep moving around. That's the first moki that I saw. They're good eating, but I didn't spear it. Uh, my friend was telling me it's not a good idea to move around. You want to stay in one spot and sort of let the fish come to you. There's another moki there, um, but again, I couldn't spear that one. Um, yeah, moving around too much, it scares the fish away. So you want to find a spot where there might be a few fish sort of hanging out. There's a moki. Too small, I think and allow the fish to come to you, and that seems to be a better technique. And now there's two mokis, so I'm right out on the point by the stage in the deep water, and there are a few fish swimming around, so I'm getting very close to spearing something for dinner. <coughs> but actually, um, I was in for a... See, there's a good close-up shot of a moki. I was in for at least an hour, and I didn't get anything. Um, there's a wee fish hiding in the kelp. It was very difficult today to actually spear a fish, but I was enjoying taking the footage. Um, I've got a wee GoPro camera, um, from Kmart for eighty dollars, and what you have to do is you have to get an anti. I think that might have been a trumpet to swing by. That's the one to get. Um, you have to put an anti fog stuff inside the camera, otherwise the lens gets so foggy that you can't see anything. Um, so that's important to do before you jump in. Also, the water is quite cold. It's only about twelve degrees. So I've got a special wetsuit called a free diving suit, and it's two layers thick. And the inside of it is... Oh! Now there's a fish I just shot. Let's just have a wee look here what happens. Now this one, yes, and I did actually get this one. Uh, this is a moki, and that's a good eating fish, so that's a good shot there. Um, and the way that I did that was that I stayed down on the bottom very quietly, and the fish, they came to me, and it was just sitting off the end of the spear gun. Hello! Um, so there's warrant in the background there. So I took my friend's advice and just sort of stayed in that one spot out on the point. And there were a few fish around and um, sort of hiding under the water. They came in to visit me and I was able to shoot them. So you can see my wetsuit there, uh, the free diving suit. It's actually filled with liquid soap on the inside and it has no zips and seams, so you just slip it on. 
Now, out on the point, there were also quite a lot of power. I don't normally eat power, but I do collect the shells, and I, I know some people who do like to eat them. So this is how you get the power. You just dive down onto the bottom, find a nice big one, and in one swift movement, you put the knife under and lever it off. You have to be careful when doing this not to cut them, because they don't have the clotting factor in their blood. So um, if you cut them, they eventually bleed to death. So you've got to be careful not to injure them. I didn't have a catch bag today either, so the only way that I could get it back to the shore was to actually stick it on myself. The spear gun that I'm using today is a pneumatic spear gun. Oh, no, that's a big sea star. Quite big, probably a foot and a half across. And this point was actually very shallow, so I was getting swept across the rocks there um, by the waves. So I had to be a wee bit careful. They're quite beautiful under the water, but a little bit scary looking. There's still quite a few fish around. A lot of the butterfish that I've seen uh, were actually very small. I think I'll take another shot at these ones. Yeah, now actually, um, I missed them there. I think my spear gun had the safety catch on, and I, I pulled the trigger, but it didn't fire. So uh, just remember that, keep the safety catch off. And there again, I missed it. I don't know why that was. I guess um, it was a wee bit far away. Um, so the spear gun, it's actually a compressed air gun. I found that um, it was much easier to manoeuvre around. There's a whole lot of power there under the water, so plenty more. Uh, I use the compressed air gun. It's really easy to handle, really easy to load, so I do find it really good for working in the kelp. It's probably not as powerful as some of the bigger uh, rubber-banded spear guns, though. So you can see by the amount of power there, there's plenty to, to collect if you want to get power and other little sort of shellfish-type things. There's also quite a lot of empty power shells down on the bottom, so if you just want the shells but you don't want the actual fish, you can collect those too. So about this time I was round um, in Power Cove, uh, so I'm not on the point, I'm actually in the cove here. And there were quite a lot of fish just off the shore, so I decided that I'd wait here and try and get one more fish. Now here you can see there's a wee trumpeter. Now I've never speared a trumpeter before, but they are the best eating fish that you can spear, and I got them right there. Uh, it ended up being 5 centimeters over the legal limit, so actually quite a big trumpeter. And I took that back to the beach, and we've eaten that, and it's absolutely beautiful. So there it is there. You can be very distinguishable because of its vertical stripes. So here's me on the beach, and here's all my gear. And these are the three fish that I caught today, the trumpeter, the moki, and the pawa. So I'll take those home and eat them up. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this footage, and we'll see you again soon. Bye!